Hi, welcome back to Physics Teacher. This was a question on the Chem 13 exam contest, which is a grade 12 chemistry contest from Waterloo University. It was question 9 of 40 questions, so it's fairly straightforward as long as you're familiar with how to form ionic compounds. I'll give it a quick try and I'll be right back with the solution. Alright, so we want to form the stable compound with magnesium and nitrogen. Now you do get a periodic table on the contest, so you don't need to have these memorized, although you might already have magnesium and nitrogen memorized because they are fairly uh, common and used quite often in, in high school chemistry. So here we have magnesium and nitrogen. So magnesium is in, al in our alkaline earth metals right here. And that means if you were to draw its Lewis structure, it would have two valence electrons. Meaning if it loses those two valence electrons, because it's easier to lose two than to gain six, then you will end up with a plus two ion. Nitrogen, however, has five valence electrons. And so it's easier to gain three than to lose two. So it's going to have an ion of negative three. And what we need to do is combine these ions together so that the compound is neutral. And so how many magnesium will we need and how many nitrogen will we need? Well, let's start with one of each, as you can see at the side there. And when you connect them, you can see that nitrogen still wants another electron to be happy. And that's just because um, 2 and 3 don't quite add up. If we were to add these charges, plus 2 and negative 3 means we still have a net negative 1 charge. So let's bring another magnesium there. And that fixes the nitrogen. But now you can see we still don't have a net neutral charge. We have plus 2 and plus 2, which is 4. And negative 3 gives us a total of plus one. So bring in another nitrogen. And now our net charge is minus two. So we'll bring in another magnesium. And now you can see if we add up, we get a total plus six and minus six, which is a neutral charge. So we want three magnesiums and two nitrogens to get magnesium nitride. The answer is C.